Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to all of you, whenever you are, wherever you are. Today we'll talk about two things. How to employ women, the local culture of the countries that you are going to visit, or the site that you are going to visit, you have to understand before you go there. This in view of the dismantling of the Soviet Union uh, in the mid-80s or late-80s, and the independence of the Central uh, Asian uh, states. Islamic states. I had a dream at that time, especially at the beginning of the 90s from the last century. What was a dream? Is to employ young graduates from the Middle East to go and work for us in these new independent states and to marry the local girls for one or two or three reasons. First of all, to provide them with a job opportunity. Second, to have a new culture mixed between the Oriental culture and the semi-European culture there. Third thing is to know the local language and to understand the local language and be able to uh, do the work properly and effectively as da'wah work there. But I failed in fulfilling this dream. But this dream was partially... uh, 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 become successful uh, on, on, based, on an individual basis where students married local girls or people who went there for doing business married local girls or some of them attend work or actually married local girls but not actually through uh, me and through my dream. My visits to Moscow and this is very exciting whenever I used to go to Moscow after the first Chechnya war in 1995-1936 I used to have this warning from some of my colleagues. Please, when you go there, you go to any hotel in Moscow, please lock the door of your hotel room from inside and don't answer the telephone. I said, I didn't know why. Why, why is this? Then I understood that. I, will, I was trying to anticipate. I locked the door from inside because of security reasons. But not to answer the phone, I did not understand why. Soon I arrived into my room me, Muhammad, and uh, another colleague with us was there. The telephone rang, and somebody from the other side, a woman from the other side, only knew one word to say. Sex, sex, sex. I knew why I had this warning of locking the doors from inside, not only for security, but actually if it was open, you find somebody in front of you from those girls, because there was agreement between the receptionists and those actually women to come to your room and do whatever business uh, they want to do. Uh, this was actually uh, 96, 97, 98, 99 when we used to go there. So we have to be very careful when we go to the hotel. Dubai and Doha, at the end of the 90s from last century. I used to visit these two cities quite often. And I used to stop mo- mostly in Dubai many, many times, coming back when I'm coming back from Pakistan or coming back from Bangladesh and others and stay a night or two there and after a very long flight I used to go out in the evening after 11 o'clock with one of my colleagues to uh, go and have meal or to walk just after this long uh, uh, journey. But I did not realize how, why many women were working at this time in the evening or in the early morning. I did not know that. Uh, Arabs, uh, African, Central Asian and uh, East European and others, till I understood that actually there's no difference between the woman in Moscow and the woman in Dubai. But later on, the business become more organized and those women has the, 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 the guts to sit in front of you in a park or in a restaurant and to keep staring at you. They won't like to pick you up and t- go with them wherever you want or whenever I take them with you. Alhamdulillah, when I was there eating with, with my colleagues, it was a group. So always, always, always groups protecting you, Alhamdulillah. And then become a big business in Dubai, as all of you know better than myself. In Doha city, in the same time, in the late 90s, I was staying in something called Sofotel Hotel in the city center. And this Sofotel Hotel, I got two reception. One to upload and download the luggage at the ground floor, the second at the reception on the first floor. 
And when I was going out to have a dinner with one of my colleagues, I found a young, beautiful girl sitting in a scrappy cloth in this uh, uploading or downloading reception area. I just went towards my colleague and uh, didn't care to look at her because I did not think about what she's doing there. Anyway, somebody's waiting for somebody else. It's not my business. Second day, I found the same girl wearing a very expensive uh, dress, which is nearly uh, uh, and see through from the back, and and a long queue of young men uh, and young boys are after her in the street, and this shocked me very badly. This shocked me very badly to find what happened in the night before. It's not different that what had been happening to the woman in Moscow. So these two, two incidents happened to me actually in Doha, in Dubai, as well as in Moscow. Let us go from there to Nalchik, employment and the reception of women to you. I was visiting our office in Nalchik in 2002. Nalchik is the capital of kabardine barkaria after the second war, the second Chechnya war 1999, with my colleague Mr. Saleh Said, who was the head of the program department. And the young girls, their culture was at that time, which is ex communist culture, is to come very well dressed to receive the bosses. In the good old days or the bad old days, maybe at the time of the mothers, the grandmother, this was happening. So the girls in the, in, in, in the companies used to entertain the bosses. The girls came here, and they're so beautiful, but actually the, the kind of dress they were wearing, it was incredible. I, don't want, I cannot describe it. I cannot describe it. I cannot describe it. This coincidentally, on the same day or the second day, uh, coincided with an interview where some of young girls from Nalchik came and one of them was wearing uh, a see-through dress from the top and a, a dress from the bottom which looked like a net. I have to run from the office and they left Salah Saeed and Muhammad to deal with the business of the interview. This was the culture at the time of the Soviet Union and the time of the Communist uh, Party ruling, unfortunately. Of course, as you understand, most of those girls are Muslim girls. My advice to each and any one of us, especially young people, whenever you go to this area, first of all, don't travel alone. And don't stay in the hotel room alone. Have some friend who you sit down with you. Please start to understand the local culture before you employ people in this area. And understand that the kind of sexual relationship between people in this area is like, it's very normal. It's not like uh, what we consider in the area where we have been brought up. My last incident happened in Nalchi, in, not in Nalchi, in Grozny, the capital of Chechnya in 2002 or two, 2002, end of 2002. And I wanted to visit the city after the war was ended or stopped and uh, to deliver some of the aid material and Muhammad managed to do that and we went to see one of these community centers which is actually mainly women are left because the men were not in the city, they were on the mountains. And the women were very happy, very thrilled that somebody coming to see them and uh, to uh, greet them. And all of them were over 50 and 60. And one of them was over 60 and she was very happy and she came and they told her that I'm the boss, and she came and she kissed me on my cheek. Everybody was laughing and screaming and yelling and hailing and saying, yes, yes, take her with you, get her married, marry her, marry her, marry her, marry her. So I couldn't be able to stop her doing that because of the psychological condition they are actually facing at the time. But I let it go and I left. First of all, why I let it happen? First of all, I'm amongst a group of people, about 50 or 60 women were there. Number two, the women were so happy and they want to express their feeling according to the local culture. At that time, 
Number three, she was an old woman over 60. Actually, these things was led me to uh, control myself of not pushing her away from myself. And even I used the photograph of this case of my cheek on some of the uh, material of Islamic leaf at that time. Thank you very much for listening to this. And I hope that we learn when we go to certain areas, be careful to be in the hotel with a colleague in your hotel room and understand the local culture before you start talking to people or employing people uh, in your company or in your organization. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.